Our guest in the studio today from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base is Senior Airman Melissa Punzalan, and thank you for being with us. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you for thank having Thank you for being here. So how long have you been in the Air Force? About three years. Three years. And what do you do for the Air Force? Um, I'm a public health technician. I work at the, the clinic on base. You're at the clinic? Yes, sir. All right. Now, did you volunteer for that particular position, or did they decide that that's, that's where they needed to put you? No, that's where they decided to put me. Okay. Well, that's the way it works in the Air Force. Correct. Right. But, uh, but uh, uh, do you enjoy this, this sort of work? I do. What do you do exactly? What's, uh, what's involved? Um, so there's actually five different sections that we have. Um, we do anything from hearing tests to uh, dog bites to uh, SCDs for patients, like SCD checks for them. Right. Um, we also do um, physical um, annual assessments for our airmen. Okay. And as well as uh, deployments. Well, this so. is the clinic, and mm -hmm. that's, that's what you do in the clinic, I guess. Yes. So uh, have you thought about, and how long have you been at the clinic doing this? The entire time, for three years. The, the entire time? Yep. Okay. Where did you start out in your Air Force career? As far as in public health? Yeah. Uh, well, no, uh, when, you, when you first joined. At basic training? Mm-hmm. I'm in Texas. You were in Texas? Yes. All right. Excellent. So what encouraged you or inspired you to join the Air Force? Well, um, I come from a line of um, military uh, members, like my father was in the military. Okay. But um, just a way to give back. I've always wanted to yeah. um, join and what branch was Dad in? He was Air Force as was well. Was he Air Force? Yes. Okay. Is he still in the Air Force? He retired, or he actually retired um, okay. back in two thousand seven. Okay. So. All right. What did he do? He was actually an aircraft uh, maintenance uh, okay. mechanic. Excellent. So you're carrying on the tradition. Correct. Any other members of the family in the uh, in the uh, armed services? Um, my husband as well. Oh, okay. Yep. And then um, his father was, his brother is, and then even wow. his grandparents. So. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So where do you see yourself years from now? Do you plan on staying? Are you going to full 20 or? I plan on staying in as long as they'll keep me. Okay. So I'm going to try to stay in as long as I can. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling they'll want to keep you. <laughs> I hope so anyway. Yes, me too. But uh, what do you do when you're not air forcing? What do you have uh, in your spare time, if you I, have any spare time? Well, um, I like to travel on the weekends. So okay. since we're here in North Carolina, I like to get out and go to, you know, Wilmington, Raleigh, oh, yeah. um, Outer Banks. Yeah. Pretty oh. much trying to see everything while we're here. See the state. There's yeah. a lot to see, I guess. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, and uh, so uh, would you encourage others who might be interested in, a, in a, a military career to consider the Air Force? Oh, definitely. All right. Definitely. Very good. Now, that clinic has been there a number of years. Uh, it was uh, started as a hospital and then became a super clinic. And uh, is there any is any growth uh, do you see in the future? you know of any growth that may be happening at the Air Force? At the, uh, uh, yes, sir. So we're actually um, opening up a new facility here, I believe, in December. Oh. So we're going to have a brand new facility here here shortly. Oh, that's great. You yep. mean the entire facility? Yep. Uh, brand new. They're going to knock down the old one, I'm oh. pretty sure. Oh, yep. wow. Yep. Oh, that's fantastic. And that starts when? Um, it should be opening up in December. It's already in process of being built. Oh, that is great. So All excited right. about that. I bet you are. Yeah. yeah. New for brand new facility. Brand new. Yeah. That is wonderful. Yes, so uh, as uh, uh, you like to travel, uh, do you have any hobbies? Um, travel. Outside of besides traveling, besides traveling, yeah. um, right now uh, traveling, traveling. Okay. And, yeah. <laughs> um, what? Uh, what did <laughs> you mention? Your husband. What does he do? He's actually a, a mechanic for the Air Force as well. Is he? Yep. Okay. All right. Do, do, so. Does he and does, does he and your dad get together and compare notes? Um, well, my dad was more on the aircraft side. My husband's more on the um, he takes care of the equipment. Oh, I see. For the airplanes. Okay. So, but right. they do actually. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Yeah. Now, your home is Guam, as I understand. Yes. All right. What 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 town city? In Guam. In Guam. Um, it's actually a village, um, Dedido. It's on the northern end of the island by the Air Force Base okay. over there. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. And uh, was your dad from Guam, or did you happen to just end up there? Yep. No, he's from Guam. He's from Guam. All right. Yes. A U.S. territory. Yes. And we're very proud of Guam. Yes. <laughs> All right. And we appreciate you coming in and talking to us today. We've been talking with Senior Airman Melissa Punzalan. Good name. I like yeah. that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it, Senior Airman. Thank you. <laughs>